good morning students before starting today's session i would like to inform you that you are having a max test of 25 marks from gujarat board by the last week of july in that the portions given is lesson number 1 and lesson number 15 we have completed lesson number 15 and today we are going to start lesson number 1 and lesson number 3 we will continue after completing lesson number 1 in lower classes you have studied about different types of numbers that is natural numbers denoted by n whole numbers denoted by w integers denoted by z rational numbers denoted by q irrational numbers denoted by p in this chapter you are dealing with real numbers real numbers are collection of all rational and irrational numbers and is denoted by capital r in this session you are going to learn two very important properties associated with natural numbers that is the first one is euclid's division lemma and the second one is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic before moving to euclid's division lemma we should make it clear what is mean by an algorithm and what is a lemma an algorithm is a series of well defined steps which gives a procedure for solving a type of problem a lemma is a proven statement used for proving another statement you are using division algorithm for finding the hcf of two numbers now moving to euclid's lemma euclid's division lemma given positive integers a and b there exist a unique integers q and r satisfying a equal to b q plus r zero less than or equal to r less than b that is a is the dividend b is the divisor q is the quotient and r is the remainder moving to euclid's division algorithm euclid's division algorithm is a technique to compute the highest common factor of two given positive integers so by using euclid's division algorithm we have to find the hcf of two positive integers this we can learn by doing an example moving to example use euclid's algorithm to find the hcf of 455 and 42 here two numbers are given the greatest number you have to take it as the dividend and the other number as the divisor so in step 1 you have taken 455 is greater than 42 so you are applying division lemma to 455 and 42 therefore you can write 455 equal to 42 multiply by 10 plus 35 here 42 is the divisor and 35 is the remainder if you are getting the remainder as 0 you can stop the division here since remainder is not equal to 0 you can move to the next step since remainder not equal to 0 we apply division lemma to 42 and 35 here 42 is the dividend and 35 is the divisor so you can write it as 42 equal to 35 multiply by 1 plus 7 here 35 is the divisor and 7 is the remainder here also remainder is not equal to 0 therefore we have to continue the process so in the next step we have to take 35 and remainder as 7 and you are applying the division lemma we get 35 equal to 
7 multiply by 5 plus 0. That is, here the remainder is 0. So, you can stop the division here. Now, how you will find the HCF? Since the remainder is 0, the divisor at this stage is 7 and 7 is the HCF of 455 and 42. Moving to exercise 1.1, question number 1, use Euclid's division algorithm to find the HCF of in that question number 2 that is 196 and 38220. Now two positive numbers are given in that 38220 is the greatest number. So you take that number as the dividend and 196 as the divisor. Then by Euclid's division algorithm, we have dividend that is 38220 equal to 196 multiply by 195 plus 0. That is you are getting the remainder as 0. Therefore, the division you can stop here. The remainder becomes 0. Therefore, the divisor at this stage is 196. And 196 is the HCF of 196 and 38220. Moving to question number 2. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. Here you have to prove odd integers are of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5. For that you are taking let A be a positive odd integer and let q be the quotient and r be the remainder when you are dividing A by 6. Then by using Euclid's lemma we have A equal to 6q plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than 6. That is, the remainder can take maximum up to the value 5. Then, by putting r equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, when you are substituting r equal to 0, a equal to 6q plus 0, that is 6q. When r equal to 1, a equal to 6q plus 1, r equal to 2, then a equal to 6q plus 2, r equal to 3, then a equal to 6q plus 3. When r equal to 4, a equal to 6q plus 4, r equal to 5, a equal to 6q plus 5. Now here we can see that the values when a equal to 6q yeah a equal to 6q plus 2 yeah a equal to 6q plus 4 these integers are even because 6q it is a multiple of 2 you can write 6q as 2 multiply by 3 multiply by q and all the multiples of 2 are even numbers then the next integer 6q plus 2 here an even number and you are adding another even number to it, then the sum will be an even number. Same way, 6q plus 4 is also a positive integer. Then the remaining integers, that is 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5 are odd integers. So when a is odd, it is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5. Question number 3. An army of contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? In lower classes while you are studying the HCF and LCM, the word problems related to that, we are finding 
in which sum you have to do the hcf and in which sum you have to do the lcm by some of the particular words when you are going to find the larger number ya maximum number there you are using hcf and when you are having the words like minimum least there you are using the lcm the maximum number of columns in which they can march equal to hcf of the two given numbers that is 616 and 32 you can use euclid's division algorithm or you can use prime factorization by using the algorithm we have 616 equal to 32 multiply by 19 plus 8 since the remainder is not zero you have to repeat the division again so you will have 32 equal to 8 multiply by 4 plus 0 since the remainder is zero the last divisor will be the hcf therefore hcf of 616 and 32 is 8 therefore the num maximum number of column in which they can march equal to 8 columns Question number four: Use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m. So you are taking let a be a positive integer, also let q be the quotient and r be the remainder after dividing a by 3. that is here a is the dividend and 3 is the divisor using euclid's division lemma we have a equal to 3q plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than 3 now putting r equal to 0 1 and 3 because it is already given here r is less than 3 so you are substituting the values 0 1 and 2 when r equal to 0 you have a equal to 3q plus 0 that is 3q then a square equal to 3q whole square that is 9q square equal to 3 multiply by 3q because you have to write the positive integers of the form 3m and 3m plus 1 so you are converting the square of the positive integer in terms of 3 now you can write it as a square equal to 3m assuming m equal to 3q square when r equal to 1 a equal to 3q plus 1 a square equal to 3q plus 1 whole square using the identity you will have 9q square plus 6q plus 1 that is from the first two terms you can take 3 as a common factor so you will have 3 multiply by 3q square plus 2q and plus 1 so you can write it as 3m plus 1 assuming m equal to 3q square plus 2q where m is an positive integer when r equal to 2 a equal to 3q plus 2 a square equal to 3q plus 2 whole square that is 9q square plus 12q plus 4 that you can write it as 9q square plus 12q 4 you have to split it as 3 plus 1 now from the first three terms you can take 3 as a common factor outside so you have 3 multiply by 3q square plus 4q plus 1 plus 1 that is you can write it as 3m plus 1 assuming m equal to 3q square plus 4q plus 1 therefore the square of any positive integer is always of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 hence proved moving to theorem 1.2 that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic 
the theorem state that every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur that means every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime factors now for any two integers a and b hcf of ab multiply by lcm of ab equal to a multiply by b that is if two numbers are given the product of the numbers equal to hcf of that two numbers multiply by lcm of the given two numbers moving to exercise 1.2 question number 1 express each number as a product of its primes you can factorize each numbers by prime factorization method that is by division method or factor tree method now take the first number that is 140 140 it is divisible by 2 so when you are dividing 140 by 2 you are getting 70 again 70 is divisible by 2 you are getting 35 35 is divisible by 5 7 times 7 is divisible by 7 1 times therefore the number 140 can be expressed as a product of the prime factors that is 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 5 multiply by 7 now moving to the next question that is 5005 it is divisible by 5 so you are getting 1001 and 1001 is divisible by 7 you are getting 143 143 is divisible by 11 you are getting 13 13 is divisible by 13 therefore it is 1 now you have to express 5005 as a product of primes that is 5 multiply by 7 multiply by 11 multiply by 13 so now clearly you can see that the fundamental theorem of arithmetic that is it states that every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes question number 2 find the lcm and hcf of the following pairs of integers and verify that lcm multiply by hcf equal to product of two numbers in that question number 2 that is 510 and 92 the first step you have to find the prime factors of 510 and 92 while factorizing 510 you are getting the prime factors as 2 3 5 and 17 that is you can express 510 as a product of primes that is 510 equal to 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 5 multiply by 17 the same way you can factorize 92 you are getting the 92 as a product of primes that is 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 23 now you have to find the lcm and hcf of two numbers for finding the hcf you have to take the prime factors and the factor which is coming in common that is 2 is the number coming in common in both the numbers therefore hcf of 510 and 92 is 2 next you have to find the lcm lcm of numbers means the common factor you have to write one time and the rest of the factors you have to write so common factor is 2 you are writing once then you are having the factors 2 3 5 17 and 23 and its product is 23460 so you have got hcf as 2 and lcm as 23460 now you have to verify the product of the two numbers equal to lcm of the two numbers multiply by hcf of the two numbers you just substitute the values you are getting hcf multiply by lcm that is 2 multiply by 23460 equal to 46920 now you find the product of the two numbers that is 510 multiply by 92 that is 
Therefore, HCF multiply by LCM equal to product of numbers, hence verified. Question number 3. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. In that question number 1, 12, 15 and 21. So you have to find the prime factors of these three numbers. You can use division method or yeah, factor tree method to find the prime factors. Now the prime factorization of 12, 15 and 21 is already done here. 12 can be written as a product of primes that is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. 15 you can write it as 3 multiplied by 5 and 21 that is 3 multiply by 7. Now you have to find the HCF. HCF means the number which is coming in all the three numbers as common. Here you can see that 3 is a factor that is coming in common. 3 is coming common in these three given numbers. So 3 is the HCF. Now LCM of the numbers is the numbers which is coming in common that you have to write it once and you have to write the rest of the factors. So you are getting 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 7 that is 420. So you have got the HCF as 3 and LCM as 420. Question number 4. Given that HCF of 306 and 657 is equal to 9. You have to find the LCM of 306 and 657. Therefore, the given two numbers are 306 and 657 and HCF of the two numbers is given as 9. And you are already know that the product of two given numbers equal to their product of HCF and LCM. From that you can write LCM equal to product of two numbers upon HCF. You just substitute the values 306 multiply by 657 upon 9 that is 22,338. Question number 5. Check whether 6 raised to n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. The prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. 6 raised to n will end with 0 if 5 is one of the prime factor of 6. Since 5 is not a prime factor of 6, 6 raised to n cannot end with the digit 0. Question number 6. Explain why 7 multiply by 11 multiply by 13 plus 13 and 7 multiply by 6 multiply by 5 multiply by 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. You take the first number as 7 multiply by 11 multiply by 13 plus 13. Now from this number you can take 13 as a common factor. From the first term that is 7 multiply by 11 multiply by 13 you are taken 13 outside and from 13 also you are taking 13 outside so you are having 1 here then you can write it as 13 multiply by 78 78 is a composite number so it has more factors so you can write it as 13 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 13. That means the first number can be expressed as a product of primes. So it is a composite number. In the same way you take the next number as the second number. In that you can see that 5 is common. You take the common number outside. Then you find the product that is 5 multiply by 1008 plus 1 that is 5 multiply by 1009 that means you are having two factors so it is a composite number. The two given numbers are expressed as a product of primes therefore both the numbers are composite. Question number 7. There is a circular path around a sports field. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field while Revi takes 12 minutes for the same. Suppose they both start at the same point 
and go in the same direction after how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point so you have to find the minimum time required to meet both revi and sonia at the starting point for that you have to find the lcm of the time taken that is 12 and 18 you can use the prime factorization method to get the prime factors and find the lcm then you will have the prime factors as 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 that is the lcm the product is 36 minutes therefore the minimum time taken by sonia and revi to meet again at the starting point is 36 minutes moving to homework in exercise 1.1 the questions that we have discussed you have to write it in the notebook and the questions that i have tick mark that you have to do it in the notebook from both the exercise 1.1 and 1.2 please do the practice and by the end of july you are having the test so please be prepared for that thank you